Hey, what's going on guys? Simdi here from Disrupt Gaming, and I'm happy to say that in today's video, we're going to go back and continue our How to Defense series. Now, we've done a lot of maps in this series, but we have yet to do theme parks. So in today's video, we're going to go over Throne and Armory on theme parks. So if you guys want to suggest the next map or site that we do in the next video, make sure to leave a comment down below. Anyways, let's get into the video. So when it comes to defending Throne and Armory on theme park, you're going to want to run a Jaeger, a Maestro, two forms of wall denial, so either a bandit and a mute or a bandit and a cade. In this case, we're going to run the bandit and the cade, but if cade is banned, just switch him out for the mute. And as for the fifth op, it's sort of whatever you want to bring. You can bring a smoke if you'd like, a wamai or an aruni if you want some extra projectile denial. It's completely up to you. In this case, we're actually going to run the aruni. Now, as for reinforcements, you're going to want to get all four of the throne walls, the two armory walls, the hatch inside of split, the wall right outside of the split door. And as for your last two reinforcements, we're going to bring them over to dragon and reinforce the two bottom dragon walls. This will just deny an angle that the attackers can get from inside of maintenance through the dragon wall into the dragon or throne door. So we're going to start with the Jaeger and we're going to place one ADS on both of the throne walls. This will be for the bandit to actively try to bandit trick these two walls just in case the attackers try to throw some nades over the wall. As for your third EDS, we're going to go into Split and we're going to place it inside of Split. And this will just be primarily for the person that is playing in the back of armor. You can place it on the left or right side of the door, or you could even place it behind the fireplace. It's completely up to you, but that will be just for that person playing inside of armory. As for your Barbar, we're going to place one on the Dragon Door. And then our second one's kind of extra. You can place it on the Maintenance Door here, or you could just place it wherever you'd like. We're going to have some extra Barb on the Maestro to place inside of Split, so you actually don't even need to place it inside of Split. Now, as for positioning, you are going to be on the roam. Potentially, if you're confident or comfortable in roaming on this map, then definitely I recommend roaming. But this map can be hard with, when it comes to roaming because there's so many windows, doors, balconies, and like entry points into the building that it might be a little bit overwhelming. And it's, again, completely up to you. We are going to have the Aruni roam with you. But a good thing that you guys can try doing is roaming horizontally. Or if you guys are comfortable with roaming up top, you can definitely do that as well with the help of the Aruni being able to make some good rotates upstairs, but that's going to be your positioning. You're just going to be on the room. Just a quick reminder, if you guys are enjoying the how to defend or how to attack series and you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss a future video. Anyways, let's get back into it. So moving on to the Maestro, we're actually going to place one Evil Eye inside of Throne and our second one's going to go inside of Armory. So this Throne one is going to be able to see not only the Dragon Door, but also the Maintenance Wall. And you can see anybody run in from the Blue Barrel Wall and then as for our second evil eye, we're going to go inside of Armory, and you're going to vault up onto this fireplace here, and you're going to place it up top. Now this will allow you to not only see into Split, if people decide to run through Split and through all the bar, but you're also going to be able to see that yellow wall, and see anybody running that breach to try to go for the plants. As for our barb, like I said, we have two extra barb on the mesh to place it inside of Split. If you'd like to place it a little bit closer to the door, you definitely can, it's completely up to you. But we also have some extra Aruni barb. As for positioning, you are going to be in sight with the Bandit and the Cade, and you're probably going to be playing on the Armory side, but you have some lines of sight that you're going to be opening up. We're going to open up above the wall. This will be for the Bandit and the Cade to end up nitroing over the other side of the wall. Now, you could bring impacts, but I'm pretty sure you can't impact trick these walls that well, considering the ceiling is a lot higher than the reinforcement. But you're going to make some holes on the other throne wall as well. And again, this will just be for the Cade and the Bandit to end up nitroing over. Uh, you just want to be careful about the attackers using that to nade over, but hopefully those two ADSs that you have on each of the walls will help out with that. And then as I said, you are going to be playing in the back of Armory, so you're pretty much just going to be hunkered down. You can make some extra line of sight right here on the bottom of the single wall. And this will just allow you to get some angles on that Dragon Door when they decide to run through, or you can even just get a pixel on the door frame if they're outside inside of Dragon, but this is going to be your positioning and you're just going to hold it down back here with the 81 and let it rip. Now moving on to the Bandit, your job is going to be pretty simple. You are just going to be actively trying to Bandit trick these walls. Now you could just place one battery on each of the walls if you'd like, but it might be smart to pocket two of your Bandit batteries just to see where the attackers are going. You just want to listen to what the attackers are doing, whether they're doing a maintenance push or if they're doing a blue barrel push. So you have those extra batteries in your pocket to actively try to ban a trick. And again, you will have the holes above the breach in order to throw your nitros over. Again, be careful with any nades that may be thrown over the wall, but you do have that ADS. So just keep in mind in case that ADS does get burned. 
And then you're, again, just going to be mana tricking. That's going to be your job. That's going to be your position. You're just going to try to actively bandit trick both of the walls if the attackers are doing either a maintenance push or a blue barrel push. And you don't need to worry about the yellow wall because the Cade will end up taking care of that yellow wall. But that is pretty much going to be the setup for the bandits. Now, moving on to the Cade, as I said, Cade's going to take care of this yellow wall. And the reason behind this is there are two very good Cade spots for this wall. Specifically, you're going to go on the fireplace side of armor. You're going to place a Cade underneath this little desk here, and this will get that left side wall. And then our second one's going to go on the right hand side. You can either throw it low on the wall or a little bit higher up. In this case, we're just going to throw it down low. And the great thing about these is the left side one is pretty indestructible. If the attackers go above, they're usually going to look at the middle of the wall, look for bandits or look for the Cade in the middle. The one on the left hand side is pretty much undestructible or indestructible. If the attackers throw nades or anything, it might get that, but it's just really hard to get that Cade out of that spot. The one that might get shot is going to be on the right hand side, which hopefully they don't end up seeing. So for the most part, you guys should be good on the yellow wall. At the very least, they end up getting that right side panel, but hopefully with the bandit bandit tricking, and these two really good Kate spots, the attackers will be unable to end up getting those walls and will be forced to push through doorways or open up the hatch. As for positioning, you're going to be playing around the bandit considering you also have a nitro. You can chuck your nitro with the bandit either over maintenance or over blue barrels and that's pretty much going to be your positioning similar to the bandit. So it seemed like the LED5 weapon skin was getting a little lonely so we had to come out with the new R4C weapon skin for Ash. If you guys are interested in getting your hands on this beauty, make sure to check out the in-game store, go to the eSports section, check out the Disrupt Gaming tab, and get your hands on this skin, as well as a new charm to top it off. And last but not least, we have the Aruni. So our first gate's gonna go onto the Dragon Door. We're gonna bring our second one over to Split and just place it on the Split Door. And then as for our third one, this is sort of an extra one. You can really place it wherever you'd like around the objective. You could put it on the hatch, you can place it on the armory door, or you could even place it on any one of the four walls inside of Throne, either on the blue barrel side or the maintenance side. But in this case, we're actually just going to put it on the armory door. And considering you have the bandit and the cade, hopefully the attackers will be unable to get through the wall, so they're going to be forced to push into doorways like Split, for example. So putting this Aruni Gate there will hopefully help the Maestro playing inside of armory. Now as for positioning, as I said before, you're going to be roaming with the Jaeger and you do have your fist to help make some extra rotates upstairs, which is pretty solid. I almost forgot. So you're going to actually place your barb as well. We have some extra barb in the Aruni, so we kind of have six barb on this site. It's ridiculous. Um, honestly, if you have a spot where you want to place the bar, for example, you know, in front of the maintenance breach, the blue barrel breach, uh, it's completely up to you. If you want to double it up on dragon door, you can do that as well. But in this case, I guess we'll just place it inside a split and just add four barb inside a split, honestly. There's, there's almost no reason not to if we have the extra barb. But anyways, back to the positioning. You're going to be on the roam here. And honestly, vertically will be a very good decision when it comes to roaming on this map with the Aruni because you have the ability to make a lot of rotation holes around the top floor. So you can make rotation holes into daycare bunk or break room or just pretty much anywhere upstairs. So that is going to be the Aruni. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. If you guys have any questions on this video, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. But anyways, I will see you in the next video. Peace.